So guys, I've been asked about this question, so I just wanna show you. This is my zucchinis. And let's just look at these zucchini flowers. Just want you to know, these flowers are actually edible, but that's not what I was asked about. I do wanna show you about, here's my zucchini. This is an ovary. So you'll see I have quite a few of these little ovaries all over here. So when they grow big enough, like this one, they have the flower on it. This one, this little pod will grow up and have a flower. This here is a male flower. It does not have an ovary attached to it, but it does have this little stick in it that is the pollinator. That's where pollen is. So if you put your finger in there, you'll see pollen will go on your finger. And if you want to ensure that these are pollinated, you want to take, you can take these actually right off, which I'll show you. Pops right off, just like that. And you can remove all of the petals from the flower and until you get just that left, which that little bee is my pollinator. So he's probably like going, what are you doing? Anyways, and you can open this up and I'll show you if, you can, if this will let me because it's an older flower. So I actually have a few of those flowers. I've got another one that's probably pollinated too. So when you open up this flower, inside the flower, you'll actually see, like this one's already pollinated. But look at that little bud there. This is the part of the ovary you want to pollinate. So you make sure that the pollen is all over this, so it is completely pollinated, then this will grow. If this is not pollinated properly, this zucchini will not grow. So we do have one, two more other zucchinis that are here, and hopefully they've been pollinated by those bees because these flowers were out beforehand. So you do need a male flower like this to pollinate your female flowers. And I do have quite a few of male flowers. If your female flowers are already guaranteed pollinated, you can even take, look at this one's already fallen off. This plant here, you batter this with some um, pancake batter and then fry it in a frying pan with a little oil and that will be one of the most delicious snacks you've ever had. I know this is a crazy view, but that's my smallest little um, zucchini there. And I've actually opened it up to see if I can see the ovary. And I'm gonna try to see if I can ensure it was pollinated. Because this is one of the things, the hardest things to know. But when you look at this, you'll see I've removed all the petals and there's just that stem part that's on the inside of the flower that has all the pollen on it. And I'm going to stick this inside there and try and make sure it was pollinated. See, the bees really do love these flowers and they love that pollen. So I am pretty guaranteed that these bees have pollinated all of the plants that are in the garden. And there is the female ovary for my pumpkin. And this is a female ovary that it looks like it's already died off. The plant isn't strong enough to support it. Well guys, that's how I ensure my squashes and pumpkins are pollinated. And I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.